Greetings electronics enthusiasts. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Cool Electronics Guy. Where the electronics are cool in the guy, uh, you decide. So today we're going to showcase a very special beer. This one's called Glory for Ukraine. It's a dry hop golden ale. It weighs in at 8% alcohol, which is a little low for my taste. I usually drink 10% and higher. I just like that a little bit of alcohol flavor in it, but 8%, that's pretty good. Uh, it's brewed in Casanova, New York by Myers Creek Brewing Company. And the great thing about this beer, I'm told, is that 100% of the sales are going to go right to the humanitarian relief effort in Ukraine. So that being said, I'm going to crack this open. I've never had this beer before. Let's see how it tastes. Hmm, that's not bad. Uh, it's got a little bit of a sweetness to it. I can taste some hop. It's not very hoppy. It's nice and smooth. Like I said, a little sweet. Uh, it's a pretty good beer. I like it. Uh, even if this beer was the worst in the world, I would still buy it to support freedom in Ukraine. Um, I, I really don't talk politics a lot because everyone has such different views, but uh, if, uh, if you haven't already, please consider supporting Ukraine in some way. Um, there's a, a, just a cool thing, a, a note on the bottom of the can. You can see it on your screen. There are, there's some writing in Ukrainian about Putin. Uh, you can see it in the pic. Um, it translates to F, in quotation marks, Putin. Uh, you all know what the F means. I don't want to say the real, wor real, real word, just in case there's a younger viewer you know, who stumbles across the channel. Um, but I think we all know what the F word stands for. So it says that in the bottom of the can, F Putin. Um, anyway, I, I've had other beers by Myers Creek and I've never been disappointed. So, uh, please check them out. All right. Now, uh, now that we did the beer of the day, <clears throat> let's, uh, let's jump right into today's project. Um, we're going to be building, coding, and running the seventh project in the Arduino starter kit. It's called Keyboard Instrument. Arduino classifies it as a level four project that builds on projects one, two, three, four, and six. Uh, the average build time is supposed to be 45 minutes. Um, the main purpose of the project, of this one, is to learn how to build a resistor ladder and understand how it works. Um, on the uh, programming end, we're going to learn about uh, what an array is and how that works. Um, arrays are just super uh, helpful. We'll talk more about those when we jump into the programming later on. Um, so the components that we're going to use for this project are four tactile switches, um, also called tact switches. Uh, this is a type of switch that only works when it's pressed down and it disconnects when it's released. We're going to use one piezo, same as the last project, two 10k ohm resistors, one mega ohm resistor, one 220 ohm resistor, several jumper wires, and our cold alcoholic beverage. Um, I'm gonna, I just want to take a minute to uh, talk about what a resistor ladder is so you can see how useful this, can, uh, this circuit can be in your projects. Um, a string resistor ladder, it converts analog to digital signal by using equally dimensioned resistors connecting between two, refer two reference voltages. Um, the resistors act as uh, voltage dividers. Uh, this, this is a very basic analog to digital converter, which is it's abbreviated ADC. That's how you'll see it in the industry. Uh, when the voltage is converted uh, to current, it gives you the ability to use an R-2R ladder. An R-2R ladder is a cheap way to uh, create a digital to analog signal. It's an electrical circuit made from repeating units of resistors that act like current dividers. The basic R-2R resistor ladder usually has two resistors, uh, a, a base called R and then 2R, which is twice the value of the base. Uh, there's so much more that I could say about resistor ladders. But uh, for our basic needs for this project, that's all we're going to need to know. 
but uh, I do encourage you to do some of your own research to learn more. So you're probably wondering, how does this work? So uh, for us today in this project, the resistor ladder is going to allow us to see a number of switches uh, using an analog input. Um, that's great, especially if you're short on digital inputs. Um, we're going to connect several switches connected in parallel to analog input zero, and most will connect to power through a resistor. Uh, when we push a tact switch, we'll see a different voltage at the input pin. Uh, you can even play around and push two buttons at once for some unique value. Um, wiring this up is going to be a little bit tricky since the components are pretty small. I, uh, I usually use a tweezer, it makes things you know, a little bit easier. First we're going to wire up power and ground, just like our previous projects. We're going to use the 5 volt pin on the Arduino. Next we're going to connect one leg of the piezo, or piezo, to ground and the other to pin 8 on the R3. Um, and then we build the resistor ladder with the four switches and resistors feeding into an analog input. The first switch goes directly to power. The next three switches get connected to power through a 220 ohm, 10k ohm, and 1 meg ohm resistor, respectively. All the switch outputs get connected together in one junction. So be sure to connect the junction to ground with a 10k ohm resistor and to analog input zero. This acts as a voltage divider. All right, we're just about done uh, wiring this project up, but uh, I just want to take a second uh, to tell you about uh, a cool um, thing you can do with this. Um, you can use your creative skills to uh, create a cool custom overlay for your project. The uh, Arduino book shows this example, uh, but you can design it any way you like, so uh, have fun with it. You can uh, see in the book there, they made it like a, like a piano. You can do anything you like. Um, now we're going to uh, work on the coding, but first I want to talk about um, an array. Because we're going to use an array in this project. An array allows you to store different values that are related to each other um, using only one name. An array allows you to quickly um, and uh, efficiently access information. Uh, when you declare an array, um, you start just like a variable, but you use square brackets after the name. Then after the equal sign, use curly brackets for your elements. Remember though, uh, the first item in the array is zero, the next one is one, then two, so on and so forth. Um, so uh, once we wrap up the code, well, we're going to show you how it works. Uh, here's a quick look at our programming that we're working on. And uh, you can see our array right there. Let's scroll down a little bit. So you can see what we're doing in our IDE. All right, now the final product. And now that the wiring and coding is complete, we get to play our instrument, as you can see. Uh, make sure you open the serial monitor and watch the values change uh, when we push the tack switches. I'm going to try and zoom in uh, to the serial monitor here so you can see, the, uh, see those values changing there. If we hear the different sounds, you see different values. I'm going to zoom back into the board for you. Uh, if you're having trouble uh, getting any sound, you can try to increase the values in your if-else statement. But uh, ours is working great. Um, we're going to play around with this for a little while and see uh, what kind of cool things we can do with it. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this project. Let me get that on there a little bit better so you can see that wiring if you have any questions about it. Um, like I said, we hope you enjoyed the project and our video. Um, thanks so much for watching. Feel free to leave any comments below. And uh, make sure to uh, tell us about your Arduino experience. As always, make sure you click and subscribe uh, and ring the bell. Our next project is going to be number 8 in the starter kit. That one's going to be called Digital Hourglass. 
So we'll uh, we'll do that one next time. Hope you uh, hope you join us next week for uh, this cool, exciting project. Uh, until next time, make sure you have a few beers and make some cool electronics. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.